What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be showing you guys everything it took for me to turn $1,200 into dollars in just a couple of days of flipping this 2004 BMW X3. If you get anything from this video, make sure you like and subscribe and stick around to the end to see how much I made. Now, let's get into it. All right, first on the list was to deal with the random misfire I was getting. It came from cylinder two and four, but I just decided to swap out all four coils and plugs so the customer wouldn't have to deal with it in the future. Then once I got done with that, I got straight on to the damaged fender. Now that I got the damage fender off, I just wanted to give a huge shout out and thanks to the original owner because he sold me the car with a color match fender which saved me time, saved me money, and saved me the stress of finding or painting the new fender to match the car. I just want to use this moment to bring up that sometimes in the car game you misdiagnose issues and I misdiagnosed the misfire. It wasn't the spark plugs and coils because the misfire ended up coming back. And I didn't want to spend too much more money on trying to figure this out so I went on YouTube and I seen somebody use this Lucas upper cylinder lubricant just to get the car running better and this is how it went. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely was scared of this moment. I thought like, damn, did I just waste my money? But I got to sell this car for parts. Did the engine just lock up? Like I was asking myself all these questions. But you know, like the insane guy I am, I just said, all right, if the car is going to be locked up, I'm going to keep cutting it until it locks up. So luckily I did that and luck was in my favor. Shout out to Never Giving Up. And um, I want to make a correction to what I just said. I just don't want to redo the audio. I didn't mean to say car locked up, engine locked up, because the car was cranking, so there was no way the engine could be locked up. But you know, just an engine failure. All right, after about 15, 20 minutes of letting the smoke clear out, I hopped on straight to the detail. The misfire, I could say, was very, very minute at this point, but it was still there. And I just have to let whoever wants to purchase it know it has a misfire. Because I did what I could, spent what I can, and now it's just time to keep moving forward.
let's backtrack a little bit. Detail done, oil change done, and drain bolt replaced. I know you saw that bolt on the oil pan that looked like it just didn't belong, and that's just because it didn't. But when you are selling the car, you want to fix all those little things that give the buyer a chance to negotiate down. Like, that was a $2 fix. But if a buyer seen that, they probably could have talked me down maybe $100. So anytime you do see anything minute, don't ignore it. Just get it out the way. And then I just finished up by buffing out the headlights. And the grill looks a little dirty, but I did clean it. So yeah, chill on me. y'all appreciate you making it to the end here's the official price breakdown and as you can see flipping cars this is the easiest but it's definitely possible you can make money off of it you can live off of it it's just you gotta be willing to problem solve and if you learn anything from this video make sure you like and subscribe yeah the next upload is the kawasaki zzr i apologize for the year-long wait but it's here so yeah i'll catch you on the next one peace